Okay, so this is going to be a quick tutorial on creating a blog type website through GitHub for free uh, using the Jekyll framework. Um, Jekyll is a very simple framework that just takes markup language and converts it into a static HTML web page. This is really handy and takes a lot of the hassle out of making a blog type web page. So, first thing I'm going to do is all I'm going to do is search. Jekyll now. It's going to bring up first response. I mean, first result is going to be by Barry Clark. Jekyll now. Go ahead to that. And this is going to make this whole process super simple for you. Right up here in the top right, it says fork. What you're going to do is you're going to forking basically means you copy this and paste it into your own GitHub account as your own repo. So we're going to fork that over. Let this load up real quick. And now you can see, error 272, it's my account. Jekyll now. So that's in my account, we're good to go. Now this is a very important step. This is to make sure it will actually work as your website. You want to click settings here. Under repo name, you have to put your username. It has to be spelled correctly or else this won't work. Dot github dot io. And that will make it so this is a full website for you. So then, if you want to visit it, just put in your name, .github.io, enter. Uh, it's still taking a bit to refresh, so we'll give it a second. But I'll go through this real quick. There are, if you scroll down, it comes with very basic um, instructions on how to get Jekyll set up and running, good to go. But if you scroll down, you can see this link here, Pros by Development Seed. You want to go ahead and click that. And it's going to ask you if you want to authorize it with your account. Go ahead and authorize it through. It'll be all good. It's definitely a recommended plugin. It's not going to do, do any harm to your account. It's just going to access what you give it access to. So view your project, your name, GitHub IO. It'll load up your project here. And it has basically the regular layout here. Uh, some things to keep in mind. The style sheet here, uh, for those of you who are familiar with web design, uh, this is not just a regular CSS style sheet. This is SCSS, which uses the uh, very popular SAS framework, which makes CSS really simple and easy to use. It basically adds variables and a whole bunch of other odds and ends to CSS. Definitely recommend looking into that as well. But to get started, you're just going to go to posts. And there's this default post here. Go ahead and click that. And then it's going to open it up here for you. And this is actually, let me see if this will load up so you can see it now. There we go. So it's up, running, good to go. This is the first blog post. Click read more. And this here, same exact thing as this here. So, copies over, takes everything you write in markup, and puts it in the website. So, let's start. Actually, let's just erase this. Put, this is your first blog with Jekyll. And then, to change formatting, highlight it. Um, H2 and H3, these are headings. And you can always change what heading it is just by changing the amount of pound signs in front of it. Heading one is used strictly for titles. So uh, outside of that, you do not want to use heading one in content. It's just kind of one of those um, web development roles, blogging roles, whatever you want to put it as. Uh, go down, H2. Congratulations. We have this in, and one thing to keep in mind is this still runs through GitHub, so it's not like you can just do a quick save and it'll be good to go. You do have to commit these changes. So over on the right, this makes it super easy. Changes to save. Click that. Uh, put anything in here. First update. Commit. And this will take a second to process through. If you go to your GitHub, GitHub sorry, go to your GitHub profile. see this is processing processing through 
says it is one commit ahead of Barry Clark, and it will always say that um, just because this is a fork from Barry Clark. It's always going to have an update based off of where it is compared to the Barry Clark master branch. Um, that's just based off of branches. You can create a new branch yourself if you want um, and just run off of that if you would like, and that will get rid of that, but I'm not going to go into that here. Let's go back to our actual page. Refresh. There we go. You're up and running. That's the name of this. Your first blog. See, when you put it as H1, it matches the same font size as the title. It's a really bad practice to get in the habit of doing, so just avoid doing that. But to change the title, it's just right up here. You highlight this. First blog post. Ta-da. Save. I'm just going to change this to update while we're doing this. But th that's it. And then you can also preview it within um, this program itself, within Pros, which shows you it here. But that being said, do, do, do. let's go back. I clicked one, back, one too far. Uh, post. To make a new post. Use it new file and then up here it automatically puts it under posts automatically dates it you just put a file name in here so whatever you want your post to be so first real post do that and do do Actually, we'll just let this be. Also, they do come with um, some markup helping here. It kind of goes into example on how to use markup. There are some extra um, kind of quick tutorials on um, markup if you go into the file itself, the Jekyll file. Uh, scroll down. Where is it? Actually, I think it's in that first page, my bad, the one that we overwrote. Um, there's a link there to, oh no, here it is, right here, this markdown cheat sheet. So you just click that, brings up the sheet that shows an example of everything in markdown and how it looks. And then if you just click view this markdown used to create this, it shows you how everything looks, um, tells you some rules behind things, things like that. Um, definitely a good resource to use. Let's, I forgot to push this through. Update, commit. Go, give it a few seconds. But you can see this first one was called Hello World. Let me go back. You can see the difference here in the page. This is like your main blog page here. If you go forward, it has your first blog page. Go back, you can have your read more option there. First blog post is now popping up here. And you can see it just pulls that name in from the file name here. Um, actually, it did not. Sorry, my bad. It's still loading up here. And as you can see, sometimes it does take a little while to do that. Let's go back to the GitHub and see where it's at. Let's go back. Posts. Oh, unpublished. That's why. That whole time I forgot to check that. Always check publish, and then the next time you save, it will publish it to your page. That's so you can kind of, if you want to in the future, you can prepare. Um, blog post ahead of time and then just go through and publish it. It's a really nice feature to have uh, as long as you're aware of it. If you're not aware of it, it gets really annoying. So we'll put publish, commit. 
There we go. So that's pushed through. Last commit now. That does take a little bit to sink through. Well, while that's going, we'll go over how to um, do the basic layout here. So you go to your About page. And this is going to be um, the About page it links to. So when you click About, it pulls up this information here. So you're going to put your email in. And then this mail to, you want to make sure that matches when they click this, it actually pulls up in their email application an email to this email address. So you want to make sure these are the same. Let's go back. Layouts, you can use this. Um, you can get themes brought in, and you can use, uh, you can push your themes in through here. Uh, pretty easy way to do that. Any images you want to store in the images folder, and then you're going to link to them in your posts. Um, let's go back here. Oh, my bad. Blog. There we go. First real post. New post. Enter text. See, we didn't change any of the text. There's that. We're good to go. But the last thing for the end of this video, this config file. This is very important to go over. That's why I wanted to save it to the end here and really go over it in detail. This config file affects everything like in the border around here. So you see up here, your name, all the bio and everything. So change this. Aaron. Bio. And we'll just do quick. Jekyll tutorial. And then if your avatar, that's for this picture here, uh, your profile picture. Kind of pulls that in. Uh, do, do, do. Copy image location. You can do it that way. Or you can do edit. There's a whole bunch of different ways you can get this link. But, um, But you can use a different picture if you want. But that's just kind of the default is using your GitHub profile picture. And then this part here is all of your social media stuff. So um, as you can see at the bottom here, it has these little icons that come up. So if I change this to 272, mm, Twitter, 272. We'll do it that way for now. Um, and then RSS, you can link it a little different. Um, they have different details on how to do the more, uh, I don't know, uh, non-optimized things like Stack Overflow. You got to put user, your number, then your username, things like that. Um, See here, there was some other stuff down here, if I remember correctly. Yeah, the SAS style. Um, like I said earlier, SAS is a interpreter for CSS. This will, uh, by default, do use the extended version. You can change it to compressed to make it smaller, a little easy, more easier to see. And then there's uh, gems are plugins in Jekyll, so you can get these plugins added in, and you have to add them in in your gem file to link them, but that will add them to your page. But let's save this. Update config. Commit. Let's see. Uh, go back here. Make sure it went through. It should have. Yeah, last commit 18 seconds ago. There we go. My name's there. Picture's there. Click the GitHub link down here. Takes you right to my GitHub page. Good to go. But that is the end of the tutorial on Jekyll. But that should give you a pretty good idea of how to start a blog going through Jekyll. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know.